The uh, wine was in a, uh, a piece of uh, flat uh, container of uh, plastic and when I opened it and then the chalice was about this high and I could see the, the wine coming out and curling around with the uh, much less gravity, one-sixth gravity of the moon, it just behaved differently than it would here on Earth and slowly settled down. So then, then of course, I used the wafer and the wine in the A sequence uh, and at the same time uh, I was uh, reading some passages from uh, from one of the books, John, the book John in uh, the Bible. And then the uh, chalice cleaned up, was brought back to earth and uh, returned back to the uh, Presbyterian Church in Texas, Houston, Texas, where I had been an elder and they had given me permission to uh, serve myself communion. The message for humans here on earth is that we have a natural tendency to explore the unknown and with advances in technology, in transportation, in airplanes, and in rockets, we can now explore outward uh, to the Earth's moon, as we did 45 years ago. And now, as other nations prepare to go to the moon, we will help them while we prepare to go even further with a transportation system that can be used by all nations. So we will do the best that humans can do to expand our presence, our occupancy, our knowledge by living in a different place in the solar system of the sun and the different planets will go outward from Earth, the third planet, to the fourth planet, Mars, and establish a growing uh, settlement colony presence of humans on that Mars surface, and then wait for the next place to explore. Temporarily, maybe an asteroid. Uh, it will be a long time before we're able to reach another star system. But I'm sure that in the future, many, many years in the future, that humans from Earth will be able to visit another star system. <laughs>